Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 29th of December. Starting off with some new faces as uh, the previous batch have all gone through the roof. Uh, Angus Energy here, we're breaking the 200 day moving average, uh, an August resistance line, and uh, also recent, or uh, well, the initial December resistance around uh, 0.8 pence, an end of day close above the 200 day line, and anywhere near where we are could open up the shares to a top of uh, late May broadening triangle target as high as 1.6 pence. Uh, as soon as the end of February. This day generally well back below uh, 0.7 pence in the 50-day line, really delaying the upside scenario. Uh, keeping up with the rather more obscure stock theme, uh, here we've got uh, uh, Bon Hill, where we've uh, hopefully, or we're going to break uh, that resistance line from uh, earlier this month, and the 20-day uh, moving average at 10 pence on an end-of-day close basis. Uh, if we can do that uh, early this week, or at least for the uh, the rest of this week, uh, we could hit uh, the, that May resistance line projection at 22 pence, hopefully as soon as uh, the end of February. This stage only really back below the 200-day line, the 50-day line around 8 pence, really delaying the uh, upside scenario. And ideally, there's no end-of-day close back below uh, 9 pence in the interim. Uh, moving on to a company that I interviewed uh, some just a, a week or so ago, um, Canadian Overseas. Uh, here you can see the shares breaking uh, that line of resistance from August, as many shares are at the moment. And the uh, 0.29 pence level, end of day close above that line, should hopefully start the process of a move towards uh, the top of the rising trend channel uh, from August. Currently pointing as high as 0.6 pence, that was obviously the August resistance as well. And uh, that would hopefully be seen as soon as the end of February. Early back below the 50-day line and the floor of the channel at 0.22, really delaying. Uh, the upside scenario. Uh, Dev Clever is next and uh, illustrating how uh, you can have a stock which uh, takes ages uh, to uh, uh, consolidate uh, at the higher levels, which in this case it did between 6 and 10 pence, but then once it starts moving and breaks resistance, uh, it accelerates. Uh, the view at this stage is that um, while we're above the uh, 9.5 to 10 pence uh, former resistance, uh, the shares could head as high as the top of a February uh, rising trend channel target is uh, up to 20 pence, hopefully as soon as the end of next month. Uh, moving along to a stock which is uh, back after an uh, extended leave in, in terms of the uh, being one of the bullish contenders. Uh, we had uh, that um, vertical move uh, during September, which was uh, pretty impressive, but uh, it's taken uh, uh, two, three months to uh, consolidate that. We retraced, I suppose, half the uh, move over the November December period uh, now we've broken above the uh, 50 day moving average at uh, 0.22 pence let's say and uh, also initial uh, December resistance around 0.2 uh, and as well we've broken that October resistance line as well so um, basically the message is uh, while we're above the 50 day line looking towards a top of September price channel target as high as 0.45 pence hopefully by the end of February a uh, stock which I, I ignored over the last uh, week or two, uh, just assume, wanting to see uh, that it uh, delivered more in terms of um, its consolidation. But finally, we've broken out through the initial uh, uh, December resistance at 0 0.09 pence. And while we're above that on an end-of-day close basis, looking for Codal Minerals to head up to the top of the rising September trend channel at 0.2 pence, hopefully as soon as the end of February. At this stage, only really back below. Uh, 0.007 uh, really killing uh, the recovery argument here, especially as we spent uh, several months now uh, at and above the 200-day moving average. So the, the shares have been in bull territory for quite a while. Uh, a bit of stake building or topping up in uh, Pires. So that's the excuse for looking at the stock uh, today. Uh, seems to have been well received by the market, uh, breaking that uh, October resistance line at... Uh, around uh, what's that four and uh, four and uh, four point three pence while we're above four four point three looking for Pires to hit uh, the top of the rising trend channel from May up towards uh, the seven pence level and that could be seen as soon as uh, the end of next month if you're ambitious regarding the stock and uh, has been useful to come up with the uh, the uh, the more optimistic targets that work rather well on uh, the likes of uh, Argo blockchain uh, last week 
the uh, the resistance line projection from uh, this time last year is currently heading towards uh, 10 pence so that would be the uh, three month target for Pires uh, while we hold above uh, 4.3 pence uh, moving along to a stock another company which I interviewed uh, quite recently just before Christmas uh, Red Rock Resources nice break of the initial December resistance at uh, 0.9 pence and while we're above that on an end-of-day closed basis, looking to the top of the rising trend channel from July, uh, currently pr promising a target as high as 1.5 pence, hopefully as soon as the end of next month. Uh, this stage really only back below the 50-day line and the floor of the channel at three quarters of a penny, really uh, killing the uh, bull argument. But uh, if you notice, we have been above the 200-day moving average uh, without any interruption since July. So this does look like overall a, a very constructive chart a uh, stock which is building up its fan base at the moment is uh, serenus energy and uh, here you can see that uh, we broke the uh, initial december resistance uh, that was at uh, two and a half pence uh, with a nice solid uh, green candle last week another solid green candle today breaking uh, uh, the uh, high of last week at 3.08 uh, pence and uh, view here is at uh, an end of day close above the 50-day line at 3.11 pence should be easily enough to for the shares to hit uh, the 4.5 pence broadening triangle top from November over the next couple of weeks. Uh, bigger picture target maybe for the end of uh, January or going into February would be up to the 200 day moving average at uh, 6 pence and all of this valid while we hold above uh, that 2.5 pence uh, initial December resistance. Uh, always pleasing to see a stock uh, rise when it's uh, one been a, a bear target uh, in this case we've got uh, supply at me capital with the uh, nice v-shaped bull flag uh, consolidation that we've had over the course of uh, december uh, bounced off the 50-day moving average and bounced off that august resistance line uh, as, as many stocks have been uh, grappling with an august resistance line uh, over the course of december uh, the view at this stage is that we can get an end of day close above 0.64 uh, which is the in initial december resistance we should be well on the way uh, to hitting the top of a broadening August uh, triangle as high as 1.1 pence, hopefully by the end of January or perhaps going into February. So it looks rather well set up for Supply Me. Uh, many of the green renewable plays have gone through the roof already and uh, hence uh, have not appeared today, but uh, one that looks like it's just getting off the ground for those who are a bit late to the party is uh, Velocis. Uh, it looks like we'll get an end-of-day close above the initial December resistance at 7.8 pence. We can do that. Uh, then the target here initially, uh, hopefully by the end of next uh, month, uh, would be the top of the May trend channel at 13 pence. Uh, if you are ambitious about the stock, uh, then th uh, 20 pence could be hit, hopefully by at the end of February, all the while, as long as we hold above the 7 pence area. So reasonable risk reward on that situation. Finishing off with a uh, bottom fishing uh, situation, a bit of a falling knife uh, with the Westminster Group. Uh, wasn't really going to cover it, but uh, the reason for covering it is uh, that even even though it's a falling knife, is that uh, we've had bullish divergence in the RSI window. So lower lows going through um, uh, December to date uh, up to or just below the four pence level. But the RSI rising, which is uh, a positive sign, uh, can be a leading indicator in terms of momentum and also breaking an RSI resistance line from earlier in the month uh, and so therefore the view at this stage is that uh, while we're above initial December support at four pence on an end of day close basis uh, we could head higher uh, the best case scenario target at the moment is back up towards uh, well initially the 20-day moving average at 4.4 pence but that's not much uh, but up towards the 50-day moving average at five and a half pence hopefully uh, by the end of January but uh, only while we hold above uh, the four pence support area. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.